People are saying consistency is important, content is important, and that is very, very true. But I'm gonna kind of explain this in a way that I'm almost certain that you've never heard or even thought about before. So we want to increase our engagement, right? We want to increase our reach. We want to increase our followers. And how are we going to do this? We're going to do this by holding people on our post, keeping them interested, keeping them connected to what we are trying to explain to them or what we do. And this isn't new. You know, you've, you've, you've heard that before. But what if I told you that one of the most important factors in whether or not someone is going to read your Instagram caption, for example, is how good your last Instagram caption was? So the principles of this video actually apply to all aspects of social media. But to start with, I'm gonna use Instagram captions as a way to explain it, because I think it's probably the simplest and easiest way to understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, think of it this way, okay. If somebody thought that your last caption was uninteresting and boring and they just swiped away from it, they are less likely to read the caption on your latest post. Now, if they do read the caption on your latest post and they also thought that that was boring and uninteresting and there was you know little effort gone into it, they're increasingly less likely to read the captions on your post. And this kind of compounds over time. This means that they will probably not even bother looking for your caption because they have learned that it's not something that they are interested in. But let's flip it around, okay? Let's say that they were interested and they did find value and they did connect with you through your last Instagram caption. That means that when you post, they are more likely to look for your caption and actually hit read more and read through it. So again, this compounds over time and you become known for the things that you're good at. And the exact same thing is true of carousels. People say, you know, you wanna blow up on Instagram, you use carousels, but I dare you to post 10, blank white carousels and see whether you blow up on Instagram. Clearly, carousels are not the way that you need to blow up. Good content and keeping people on your post and keeping them interested is important. So let's re-roll the analogy really quickly. Let's say that you put out a carousel, but it's you know incredibly boring and someone swipes through all of them and they're like, yeah, no, I didn't really find any value in that. The next time you post one, maybe they will, but they're increasingly less likely the more that you post uh, content that's not working and it's not connecting, it's not entertaining or valuable, they are less likely to scroll through and eventually they just won't even bother. Again, let's flip it around. You create really interesting carousels time after time after time and these people learn that this is something that you do. So when your particular post pops up, they will swipe through and they will know what to expect because they know that it's good. And this is what true consistency is. It's not about doing the same thing over and over again. Consistency is being consistently good. You can be consistently bad as well. Now you may have heard the term compound interest in finance. I'm no financial expert, but what this essentially means is that you, know, you make an investment in something which is gonna earn you an income as a percentage of that investment investment and as that income grows your investment the income itself uh, you know it, it grows as well so this gives you an exponential growth over a long period of time and the exact same thing is true of your investment of your time in social media and one of the most kind of inspiring things to know when you're trying to grow an, a social media account is to know that it is exponential uh, someone with one follower will grow much slower than someone with 10,000 followers or someone with a hundred thousand followers so when you're seeing accounts blow up and they're you know they're in increasing really quickly. Just remember that it is exponential, but you don't just grow through entitlement. You grow through investment of time and connecting with people on social media. Before we go on, I don't want to stress anybody out, okay? Consistency is not about burning yourself out. It's not about hustling over and over again, okay? You can be consistently inconsistent. There are people that I follow that I have a lot of respect for who will just drop the odd post every couple of weeks, and it is incredible. You know, it's amazing to see their work pop up on my Instagram feed, and and you know that that is their consistency they do the same thing they do it well and they do what they do and they repeat it over time you know that is their investment so i'm not trying to stress you out i'm not saying be consistent post every day that's not what this is about i'm talking about consider what you're doing as an investment of time and over time this will compound and give you this exponential growth that i'm talking about so i'm going to say it again and hopefully it will make more sense now than it did at the very start one of the most important factors in whether someone is going to read your caption on your latest post is how interesting the caption was on your last post and the one before 
before that and the one before that. Now a good caption does not need to be long, it doesn't need to be short, it needs to be intentional, it needs to have a point to it, it needs to do its job. For example, I've written captions in the past which have quite simply been me explaining how I'm tired, I don't have the energy to write anything really interesting, but I'm not going to let that stop me from posting because I'm a photographer and I want to share my images and it's tiring to come up with captions. You know, actually a lot of people related to this and I got a good response. That wasn't what my intention was. I just wanted to post and I was feeling grumpy that day. But, you know, the point is, is that that caption was authentic and people connected with it. It wasn't long. It didn't follow the rules. There are no rules, you know. The point is people connected with it and I was intentional about sharing something authentic and it did its job. There are millions of people out there telling you to be consistent on social media, but you can consistently make mistakes. You can consistently be rude. You can consistently insult people. I guess I'm saying be consistently good, but most importantly, be consistently you. And as I've already said, you, you will be known for being you and being you is effortless because because, you know, you're just you. I think that most people have trouble being consistent is when someone's, they're trying to do something that isn't natural to them or that it's not part of their own personality. As I've said a load of times in this video, I myself am consistently inconsistent and that's fine. And above all, okay, consistently enjoy it. I think I need to start putting that at the end of all my videos, particularly the really deep, kind of complicated ones like this one. So I hope you found value in this. If you did, remember, hit the like button. And if you want to see lots of videos from the past, similar to this one, there are loads of videos from the past on my YouTube channel. If you want to see videos in the future, hit the subscribe button. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.